Hey guys, it's Red. So I'm just coming here today to show you just a quick session on Logic Apps and to do a file copy. So let's get right into it. So log into Microsoft Azure and you're going to need to make sure you already have a resource group and then you'll need to create a Logic App. So go to Logic Apps, add one. You'll need to use a resource group. So go ahead and add your resource group for the Logic App. Right now I'm just putting POC test just for this for this video, but recommendation would be to use something a little more intuitive. Another thing to note is the location that I put was North Central, and anything that you create within this app should be North Central. Otherwise, the app won't function. So example when you make an API connection that's let's say central it will fail. So Logic Apps takes a, a little while for the deployment of the app but you can also copy and paste Logic Apps that you already create so you don't have to keep making new ones. I mean or deploying new ones you can just pretty much say I want this one copy paste here I'm just deleting an old one because I did a quick run through um, but I want to show you guys everything when it comes to making an SS uh, SFTP connection so on and so forth so here's the logic app go on and go inside of it we're going to go blank logic app. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a, just for now, we're just going to do a schedule. So it makes it a little easier opposed to having to drop a file. So we'll do an SFTP. And what I want to do is I want to get a list of all my files in, in this folder in case this SFTP connection has multiple files they've dropped. This is an automatically will pop up when you click SFTP. Right now I'm just filling in all the, the required information that's needed when creating an SFTP connection. And this will be an API connection you can edit within the resource group later on if need be, if let's say the password changes. So now that API connection has been created, um, and then within that SFTP connection, there'll be a folder structure. So you always probably put the ma you'll put the master folder, but you can always go down to the root folders as well. <coughs> We're gonna need to do a for each of those files, and you'll note that the body there I've clicked. It's because there's a there's data from the previous step that I can I can bring in. So now with that file, I'm gonna get the file's contents. I'm going to add the ID so I know which one to use. And then I'm going to do a file create, not a file copy. Now that sounds counterintuitive, but that's the way it's done due to the fact of the way you make a connection with Logic Apps. It's a single connection per server, not a connection per multiple servers. So that's why I'm doing create file, not copy file. So now this is a file system connection API. So once again, make the name intuitive. Do it'll be a root folder that you you know of whatever you want. You're gonna need a username, and password for your local system, and then you're gonna need to make it a, a gateway to your local system. You'll have to install an on-premise gateway. Once again, it'll have the folder structure inside. But you can pass the file name in from the previous steps that all that data gets passed along and that file contents from the previous step. So once again, I just put desktop just to show you for the example. But this is how if you wanted to copy a file from an SFTP location to a local server, this is how it's done. Or from a local server to another local server. 
and here you can see all the API connections that we created. So if you ever needed to go back and edit them, you can. And they all need to be in North Central, like I said earlier. So if you guys have any questions and want to continue learning about data, logic apps, video games, hit the subscribe and the thumbs up. It'd be super helpful.